course, the George W. Bush Presidential Center isn't much to look at just yet, but the workers are ready. Construction will move fast after today's groundbreaking. This may be the only shovel-ready project in America. <laughs> One of the things that struck me from the beginning and that continued to impress me throughout our time in office was George Bush's refusal to put on airs. It's a happy experience and a rare one to find the most powerful person you know is among the least pretentious, that at the commanding heights, a man can be so respectful of his office, so serious in his duty, and yet so unimpressed with himself. Kipling rated a fine virtue for one to walk with kings, yet keep the common touch. And nobody's ever done it quite like our 43rd president. I, uh, I can't thank Dick enough for coming. I, um, you know, I've been doing these uh, interviews, tr trying to peddle my book. <laughs> I'm asked about Dick Cheney. Here's what I say. Dick Cheney was the right pick in the year 2000. And as I stand here, there is no doubt in my mind he was the right pick then. He was a great vice president of the United States, and I'm proud to call him friend. <laughs>